Hello all, uh, this video is going to attempt to install the Plasma 5 desktop in uh, Arch Linux. Uh, right now I have the XFCE4 desktop and I do have a clone of uh, my installation in case things really go wrong. The last time I tried this it seemed to be working and then uh, then everything seemed to break all at once after a few updates. Which is so unfortunate because Plasma 5 desktop is is really nice, I think, but it's just, in some ways, I hate to say it, broken in, in Arch Linux for some reason. I don't know why, but in any case, uh, if you want to try this, make sure you have a backup of, you know, like I said, a clone or use rsync or any kind of backup utility. Uh, to another hard drive and or a cloud service such as Dropbox, okay? So with that said, um, I have my aliases, so aliases for the command line, so sudo pacman-s in Arch Linux to install packages. I just have an alias as pack. According to the Arch Linux wiki, if you want the full Plasma desktop, all you have to do is uh, sudo pacman-s plasma. And there we go, uh, 30 items to choose from. And there isn't much, I guess if you looked into the dependencies, you can pick and choose, but that's gonna uh, use the default. And again, default, and it's, a, actually it's probably larger, but I already have, probably have some KDE and QT dependencies installed, so that's why it's not so large. So I'll let this download and install. Okay, so it's uh, pretty much installed. I'm just going to update my database. I'm just going to do a locate of a couple of things. Uh, STDM, that's the login manager, which is sometimes a nightmare. Um, Etsy, it's, there is, I don't see an Etsy S, SDDM config file. So right there, uh, I had problems logging in because of a, the dual monitor. Uh, and unless it's somewhere else and what else was I looking for locate uh, kwin was another one and usr bin is now kwin underscore x11 I believe you can start that uh, I'll just try it out uh, kwin uh, it does have the underscore x11 or is it small x11 dash two dashes replace just out of interest ampersand I don't know if it'll and then uh, I'll just put the ampersand and see what happens all right so once I stop the recording and then start it again it seems to be working uh, just the <laughs> kwin went uh, service so that's kind of interesting I've lost my uh, default desktop zoom and again it's I was hoping for a nice way to uh, zoom in on the desktop it still has the meta and the keyboard plus and minus on the top row where the numbers are uh, meta being the super key or the windows key so if I go to uh, synapse work yep keyboard and I change my shortcut for the uh, pop-up menu to something like tilde hopefully I'm still recording this and then I do a super plus yeah it works I was hoping for a mouse wheel now I do have LXDM as the default window manager I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to reboot the computer and continue this recording in inside of plasma we'll see and I know K wallet uh, depends on the SDDM. I'm not sure if you can do that anything with the LXDM, but I'll look into it. So hopefully I'll be back in, in a flash. All right, so here we are. Uh, I did have a crash. I had a couple things happen at, on reboot. Uh, first of all, I did a fall system check, which uh, is a minute and a half, and then it restarts. And, and then uh, I still have the uh, LXDM login window manager uh, enabled. And that crashed, and then I did a, I had to kill the X server, then finally it came back. So this is where I am right now. 
um, system settings. So far, so good. Fingers crossed that this will work. But uh, right away, if you right click on the desktop and you select desktop settings, um, yep. I have, <laughs> I have no clue which one is which. I know of the first one it says, no, it's not. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know what this de desktop background where it is in this in this list anyway. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Mouse actions, there's nothing there. Uh, let me see if Firefox does it respond. And what it, what does it look like? Uh, it looks okay, I guess. Squares. Uh, so you're gonna have to. I think there's a theme you can download. To make this look a bit better. All right, uh, let's get the uh, K, the infamous K. Oh boy, forgot I can't zoom in that way. Uh, window, sorry, K super. <laughs> so pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S uh, K super key, and just run that, and oh, wrong key. It should uh, be loaded. Yeah, so it's, that's working. And the last time I tried that, I went to system settings and start up and shut down. And, oh yeah, that's running. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Is Synapse working? Yeah, it is. Okay, sorry. Uh, NVDoc, uh, I tried to get it to run. It just won't run for some reason. I'm not sure what it's looking for. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Oh dear. Okay, uh, so we're going to add a program and you can type, start typing a search and press OK. Permissions is executable. I imagine press OK. And it says it's enabled. Uh, properties. Application permissions is executable. We'll see what happens if I reboot. Alright, so uh, I really can't re remember the name of that uh, theme to get this to look a little more... Uh-oh. The terminal just crashed. Okay. Okay, forget the uh, theme for a second. Let's take a look at our uh, how many hard crash situations going on? Um, NCDU VAR lib system D core dump. Okay, it's uh, K activity manager. It's crashed three times and it's uh, 34 megs in core dumps. Nice. All right. Um, so just some uh, things here. Um, I just ran the NVIDIA settings as pseudo, and I'm gonna crank up the GPU fan to about 20. So hopefully it won't uh, do much crashing. Uh, script I have just for the a rough idea for the uh, core temp. It's getting it's it's raising. See, it's, it was 37, now it's 39. One more time. Okay, and uh, let's keep notes. I just downloaded K Super Key, and the theme was GTK theme Orion. So now if I open Firefox, it's a little. It looks a little better. The the rounded corners, and do I have VLC in here? No. Okay. So uh, well, you don't really have to worry about that. Install VLC. Let's see what happens. Uh, not so much if it works, but uh, what it looks like under uh, the uh, QT GTK um, theming and stuff. So let's uh, run VLC. There it is. Tools. Yeah, that looks fine.
All right, my apologies. Uh, there wasn't an extra theme you had to install. Just go to your system settings uh, under the GTK, GNOME applications, and your icons for GTK things like uh, the Thunar File Manager. Uh, you can select from a list here. And I put it, uh, just the icon theme and the fallback. I just left that breeze dark and show icons in both of these buttons and menus and I'm not sure what's going on with the font here I'm just gonna leave it the way it is things are working <laughs> uh, super key after a re couple of reboots uh, seems to be working and control T for the terminal uh, so back to system settings find that with KDE you spend a lot of time in this area <laughs> In the beginning, at least, uh, shortcuts, custom shortcuts, add a new global command URL. I'll call it uh, files. And the trigger, sometimes this uh, complains, Alt H for home. Okay, and action sooner. Okay. So Alt H and trigger is Alt A H. Yep. Yeah. Re-enable it. That's the problem. Is uh, you don't know if you made a mistake or it just doesn't. And for me, the coloring is really strange. Like I, I guess. Okay, that's on. Uh, I don't know. It's frustrating. So it's probably conflicting with another shortcut, but didn't alert me because I didn't install everything through the Plasma desktops, such as Dolphin or the other the console spelled with a K. <laughs> uh, but it seems to be working okay. Obviously, I'm recording, so most of the multimedia is okay however I did find that VLC did freeze for a second I thought the whole the whole computer just froze and it, after a few seconds it came back so that's a good thing under mon <laughs> monitor settings I have no idea what's going on here uh, luckily I have the Nvidia settings from before and other settings for screen so I just left this there was a I think a KD4 uh, pack package you can download if this didn't work but I'm just gonna leave well enough alone all right um, let's go on it just crashed <sighs> nice okay uh, my apologies moving on is uh, under uh, system settings the startup shutdown that's where you change your theme uh, Arch Linux documentation recommends Breeze. We go under Advanced. Uh, I tried changing the cursor theme, but it just keeps going back to that. I'm not sure why. I'll just leave it as it is. Here, let's do this. Apply, but it, it won't stick. You put your password in. Maybe that's why. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, so in between uh, logging out and rebooting, uh, I had a K... KDE or K in it crash. I don't know. It didn't really explain much on that. Uh, desktop session. Confirm logout. I'll just leave this as a default. And another setting is under. Uh, it is there actually. If you. Uh, I'll just do sudo leafpad uh, etsy sddm.conf. There's a few things in here. Um, but the numlock. You have to put that in under general. You have to actually put that in. It's not there. So numlock, one word, equals on, if you want that on your keyboard. Alternatives. You have the uh, a dashboard. That's kind of It's kind of neat. And you can switch, and then you hit your super key, and you get like a full screen. Although your favorites don't. I added a couple of more. It doesn't matter. So you hit the super key again, so you can toggle that. Or you can have like a traditional that might be a little more uh, desirable for some people. 
So, so far it's getting there. Like, I, I, I like the plasma desktop, but it's really, as you can see, it's really, uh, well, depending on what you do, like me, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, if it's your fault, it's your fault. But, um, as you can see, it's a little funny still. But it is getting there. Uh, things such as when you set your icons up, if you open Firefox, you right click, you have your icons beside uh, each menu item. And it seems to be behaving well with the uh, Infinality font bundle. I, I strongly suggest right now is don't touch this at all. Just leave it as it is. Okay, so I'm glad this worked out fairly well with the exception of a few crashes here and there. And I'll try to continue uh, using this and hopefully updates will fix and not break things. Uh, one thing I should mention that I, uh, on a side note is Caden Live. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, the latest one I installed under XFCE4. And if I have Compiz turned on, it's really strange. Uh, <laughs> when you drag something onto the timeline, it kind of floats and stuff. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. And maybe I'll throw a small video up to show you what I'm talking about. So anyway, there you go, Plasma, whatever version, <laughs> Plasma 5, whatever, right, version 4, I don't know, um, on Arch Linux, on an actual system, a live system on, uh, does calendar work? Yep, September 26th, Saturday, 2015. Okay, so that should do it for this one. Uh, if there are any questions or comments, please feel free to add them. And this, remember, this is under Arch Linux. I'm not saying KDE under other platforms is this, uh, I don't want to say buggy. It, I guess it is buggy in some ways, but that this is under Arch Linux, okay? So that should do it for this one. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.